In this video, we're going to take a look at the second GraphQL lab on Port Swigger's Web Security Academy. The lab is called Accidental Exposure of Private GraphQL Fields. We already made an introductory video for the GraphQL series where we went through the background information, which is specific to the first couple of labs. So I'm not going to cover that again. I would encourage you to go back and check that video or just read through the material in your own time. So the description of this lab says, the user management functions for this lab are powered by a GraphQL endpoint. This lab contains an access control vulnerability where you can induce the API to reveal user credential fields. To solve the lab, sign in as the administrator and delete the user Carlos. So let's open the lab. And we'll start by testing some of the basic functionality so that we can go and have a look at the traffic in Burp Suite. Let's try and log in with the default credentials, which were Wiener and Peter. And then we have an option to update our email address as well. So I'm just going to update that just so that we have the request in Burp. And let's go to the home page and have a look at a blog post. Just want to see, can we leave any comments or anything like that? But we can't. So two things we could do here. We could go and try and look for some GraphQL endpoints just using the standard syntax that we saw or the common endpoints that we saw in the Web Security Academy. The one that we had in the previous video was GraphQL slash V1. And it looks like it's this again because we have this message saying method not allowed. And by default, it is a post request we need to make to this endpoint. So we have discovered the endpoint. Another way we could have done that would just be to simply go into Burp Suite. Let's do that now and have a look at our HTTP history. And you'll see that whenever we logged in, oh, that's the get blog summary. So we've got a couple here. Let's have a look at the GraphQL tab so we can see it better. There is the get all blog post. So whenever we view the blog post, this is the query that's run. But we also had a login somewhere. Where is it? Here we go. OK, mutation, login, and you can see then it takes these credentials, Wiener and Peter. So I'm going to send this to the repeater. And let's go and do our introspection query. We go to the GraphQL tab and right click and set introspection query. Click send and we want to see what comes back. So we get back the full response. You can see there's a lot of lines here. We've got over one and a half thousand lines. So I'm going to take a copy of this and I'm going to go to the GraphQL visualizer. And in here, we've got a sample introspection query and the result. So we want to paste in our result. And then I want to just get rid of the HTTP headers at the top. And now we should be able to see our visualization. And we do, we've got these queries. We can get all blog posts, or sorry, we can get all blog posts, or we can get an individual blog post, and we can get a user by the ID as well. And here are the values that we have, the keys and the values for the blog post, and then here for the user. So since we need to log in as the admin, it's likely we're going to be most interested in this user query, get user. So let's go back to Burp Suite. And one thing I'll mention is I did also try, if we go and get that login query again, I just tried this randomly to see if we could maybe take out the password and just provide a username. And in that case, maybe log in as administrator, but we do have to provide the password. And in fact, we can see that here. So because there's an exclamation mark, it means that both of these values have to be provided. But the other query was get user, and we could just make this ourselves because we know what the parameters will be. However, one thing that I did forget to do was whenever we got the introspection query, you can right click this in the response and save it to the sitemap. And if we go to the sitemap and drill down into GraphQL v1, and now you can see all of our queries. And we have the get all blog posts, get blog posts, change email but also this one here, get user, which I'm going to send to the repeater. And again, we'll go to our GraphQL tab so that we can see this a little bit easier. Click send and we get nothing back. But what if we change the ID now to a one? Click send and now we get back the administrator and their password. And we could actually increment this as well and see that we've got the password Peter for Wiener or we could get the password for Carlos and log in directly. Obviously, we want to delete Carlos, so we need to log in as the administrator first of all. So we log in, we go to the admin panel, and we can delete the user Carlos. And that's it. We've solved the lab. So a nice quick one today. We looked at accidental exposure of private GraphQL fields. And in the next video, we'll look at finding a hidden GraphQL endpoint. Of course, if you're interested in finding GraphQL vulnerabilities and getting paid for it, you should check out the Integrity Bug Bounty platform. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, 
leave them down below. Thanks.